Okay, we're going to be using the Street Atlas USA 2011 Plus. Uh, we're going to be compiling our call list. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, the uh, voice broadcasting system, there's basically two steps. The first step is you need to compile your call list, which is your list of phone numbers. And then the second stage is plugging those phone numbers in the iBuzz Pro and having iBuzz Pro phone them with your telephone message. Now, uh, for the first stage, I believe the best way to organize your uh, phone numbers is by zip code. So I've got us to a site here on the internet, zipcodes.com. This has all of the zip codes in the United States. Let's scroll down. Let's click on Tennessee because that's where I live. Okay, these are all the towns and cities in Tennessee. And let's scroll down to Mount Juliet, which is the town that I live in. Click on Mount Juliet. Okay, as you can see, Mount Juliet has two zip codes. We're kind of a small town. Uh, 37121 and 37122. Now, let's say your church is located in Mount Juliet. What you could do is one of your call lists could be the numbers in 37121. Your other call list could be 37122. And then you could rotate them. One week, voice broadcast to one zip code. and next week, broadcast to the other zip code. You can do that. Or you can broadcast to both of them at the same time. Whatever you'd like to do. All right. Let's go back to the list, towns and cities. Let's go to Nashville, Tennessee which is, of course is a large city and it's just right outside of Mount Juliet. Click on Nashville, scroll down. As you can see, Nashville has quite a few zip codes. Well, right there is 37215. Let's use 37215 uh, as an example. Let's say your church is located in zip code 37215 and you want to voice broadcast to everyone in that zip code. Okay, let's get out of this. Let's go to our street address. Uh, this is the icon for the Street Atlas, as uh, I mentioned in an earlier video. You get it in the mail and uh, comes in three to five days, and then you download it into your computer, which is what I've done. Let's uh, double click on the Atlas and pull it up. Takes a minute for it to, uh, to uh, come up. This is a, a really is an amazing piece of software uh, as far as what you can do with streets and uh, zip codes and phone numbers. What it does is it allows you to take a strategic approach to your voice broadcast okay still coming up okay it gives us a box that we don't need so let's get out of that okay uh, this was the last search which just happened to be 37215 but let's get rid of that okay this is our search page it's arranged this, this is phone so we're going to be pulling up phone numbers over here under zip we're going to put 37215 then on the left hand side over here, uh, there's residential and business. Well, we don't need business, so let's get out of that. Here's the search tab. Let's click on it. And this is our first 1,000 listings in zip code 37215. I think there's a little over 7,000 listings in that zip code. Now, what the Street Atlas does is it arranges the, these lists in groups of 1,000, and you create your file based on that. You can't create a file larger than 1,000 listings. All right, there's the first 1,000. Here's an add button. Let's click on that. And that brings the first 1,000 listings over to the right-hand side. Now, here's a, a button that says to file. We're going to click on that. And let's put these files, and we'll put them in my, my documents. And the first file, we'll name it 37215 file 1. Save that. All right. Now, let's remove these 1,000. Go over here to the left. And let's search for more. And here's our second thousand. Click on add. Brings it over to the right. Click on to file. And this is going to be our second file, which is 37215 file 2. Save that. All right, let's remove those. Let's go over a thousand more. We'll pull them up. Now, one thing I want you to notice at this point, these listings on the left-hand side over here, the names, the addresses, phone numbers, Many of them have an asterisk beside them. Uh, some of them don't. That was just one that doesn't. Uh, what the asterisk indicates is that these people are on the National Do Not Call Registry. Uh, now, the choice is yours whether or not you want to broadcast to them or not. Uh, there's a website you can go to called donotcall.gov, and it gives you all of the rules and regulations regarding the uh, Do Not Call Registry. But in reading it, what I've discovered it says is that, that if you're a nonprofit entity, which a church is, then you can 
uh, voice broadcast to these uh, these individuals. And like I said, I'll leave that totally to you. One thing you do need to remember is that at the end of each message, you need to say, if you'd like to be removed from our call list, just press 9 now. If they do that, they're removed from your call list forever. They'll never get another voice broadcast from you. So the public really is in control at the very end. The great thing about iBus Pro is it has a filter that if you want to use this filter, it will uh, take everybody out of your call list that's on the Do Not Call Registry. So uh, when we get into iBus Pro in the next video, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, this is our next, uh, like I said, this is I think our third group of uh, phone numbers. We're going to add, click on add, which brings you to the right hand side, to file. And this is 37215, file 3. Save that. Let's do one more. We're going to remove these. Go to more. Hit add. Brings them over to the right side. Click on to file. And let's do 37215. File, four, and save that. All right, that uh, enabled us to save 4,000 uh, listings there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to plug those into iBus Pro. While we've got it on the screen, screen here, let me show you something. Um, if you go to the Find button over here on the left-hand side, you can put in an address. I'm going to put in the zip code 37215 that we just listed or just searched in. Click on search, and it's going to bring up the uh, map of the 37215 zip code. Uh, this is, like I say, in Nashville, Tennessee. Let me see if I can get this a little bit closer. Okay, there's downtown Nashville, Tennessee right there. There's the area code for 37215. Uh, now, what you can do is you can zoom in. I'm going to click on zoom over here. And we're going to zoom in closer into that uh, 37215. Here's the green outline of 37215. This is the north side of it. As you see now, uh, streets are coming, uh, becoming named. And let's scroll down a little bit more. Uh, let me see if I can create a little more space here for us. Okay. Let's uh, keep on zooming in. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but this at least shows you what the process is. In the right hand, top right, I'm zooming in. What I want to do is get us close enough to where we see individual streets that are named. Uh, let's see if I can make a little more space. Okay, let me create a little more space here. Continuing to zoom in. Okay, this is the very north end of 37215. As you can see, these streets are named. And what we can do here is um, uh, locate each street and find out who lives on each street and the phone numbers. Let me take the uh, Medial Avenue right there, right click on it, it says phone listings, whole street or this block. Clicking on whole street and it's going to give me, me the listings of everyone, it's searching right now, but it's going to give me the listings of everyone who lives on that street. There we go, three people right there, it's looking through some more listings. Okay, it says 11 listings. These are the 11 people that live on uh, Medial Avenue. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is if you want to fine tune your search beyond uh, zip codes, you can go to the actual streets themselves. Let's say your street, your church is located on a certain street. You can get the names and phone numbers of everyone on that street. You can get everyone in that neighborhood. Or like I say, you can pull out and just uh, search by zip code. But uh, any way you want to do it, this, this is an amazing piece of software that allows us to do that. Okay, let's get out of this. Now I'm going to go to my doc my documents, and let's see. Click on my documents. Okay, this shows the uh, files that we created. There's three seven two one five file one, file two, file three, and file four. Uh, and as I said in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take these files, combine them, and plug them into iBus Pro, and have iBus Pro call everyone on those lists. And that will be in the next video.